Hello there everyone and welcome to Trench Work in Progress and as the name might tell you it's an early access game on Steam. However this one is free to play so I downloaded it today and I thought it looked rather interesting. The key feature in this one is the fact that you can build your own trench. You can build your own tunnels so I've built this entire tunnel system myself and you can do you can build weapons and a load of other th stuff so i thought we would go ahead and take a look at this now as it is stated in the title it is a work in progress so there will be kind of a lot of stuff that is not right there just yet uh part of it is the sound design so right now there's not a lot of sound for a lot of stuff so uh, that's why we're not going to hear that much and I've put on some background noises uh, just to add a little bit so it's just not my voice everything we see right now I've actually built myself so I built the bunker I dug these trench lines I built the uh, tunnel that we just came out of the cannons the tank factory the tank uh, another bunker and loads of trenches and stuff and since that is the key feature, let's go ahead and build some stuff. We'll add on to this trench that I've started over here. So what you want to do is first you want to make sure that you have some points or requisition points. And you get these by switching over to your trusty axe and cutting down them some trees. Now you could also shoot enemies and get a dog tag. I did that. Uh, unfortunately, there aren't a lot of players online. I've been... I hosted this server, put it on public, uh, but no one has actually been able to join. So I thought that's p partly why I'm doing this video, because I kind of want to see if I can get some people to come out and test this with me. So it would be interesting to see two teams actually fighting each other, um, building trenches against each other and so on. Um, so you want to make sure you have some of those points. You can press E to get your inventory up. So we can see I've got I've built bullets yeah, using these requisition points. So right now I've got um, about a little less than 1500. We've got a bunch of other stuff that I've built as well. So we have points anyway. So then we press F to bring up the building hammer. Then we hold down F, and what we want to do is, let's go back to the start. So we've got production buildings. That's stuff like the Jeep garage and tank factory, and also the the um, airfield over there. Then defensive buildings, that's what we want to build here. So most of this, bunkers and stuff. Offensive buildings, that's cannons like these. Uh, machine guns you can place on the side of uh, the trench. And also an anti-tank gun. Now a lot of these stuff don't work. The uh, machine gun on the side, that works. But the, well, the cannons, they do sort of work. And the anti-tank gun is over there, but that does not work. Then we've got uh, the tunnels. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So what we want to do is we're going to go to defensive buildings. And we're going to add something to this trench. So let's go ahead and in a straight bit. Now this bit is going to actually go into uh, into my tunnel there. I'm not entirely sure if that's going to glitch out. So we'll see. So that cost 20 requisition points. Now at this point when I placed it, I believe anyone can go ahead and build it. I'm not entirely sure since no one else is here and I haven't tested that. So there we go. We've gone ahead and built it and I'm not entirely sure if that's going to screw with my tunnel. Now um, Maybe we want to protect ourselves like this bit right here. So we go ahead and select trench roof. And then that costs a hundred. We're going to use the scroll button to get around because we don't want the wooden bit to actually face the front. We want to be able to see out of this. Go ahead and place that there. Start building it. Boom! Now we've got rain shelter. Or maybe some lighter shrapnel uh, will be stopped by this as well. Pretty good. But what if the enemy bayonet charges? 
we want to put some barbed wire in front of this. So let's go ahead and do that. Cost 10 points. We uh, rotate it into right position. And boom. So now we're pretty much covered. Um, with that, I think we're going to go ahead and take on some of the emplacement guns before we start driving some of the vehicles. Last off, I'm going to drive the aircraft if I have enough points left at that point. Can go ahead and take a look at the bunker. I'm not entirely sure what this is supposed to be. It certainly not is finished in any way, shape, or form. I think this is supposed to be a light, actually, but I'm not entirely sure. So here's one of the bunkers, the smaller bunker. Pretty good. Now it would be nice if you can actually place the machine gun here. You can't. Uh, let's go over. So I've built this trench line right here. Got some cover. Can sit down, fire behind. And we'll move through here. And here we go. Now I've already used up all the ammo for this machine gun right here. So unfortunately I won't be able to fire it. And also if we look over here. Oh, that's me. Right. And as you exit it, you can be thrown up into the air. Which, yeah, as it said, it's trench work in progress. And it definitely is work in progress. We've got a nifty little anti-tank cannon. I don't know how to operate this at all. I can't move it. Or I don't know how. And it sounds like reloading a pistol when you reload it. I can't fire it. I did produce some shells which should be for artillery but I'm not entirely sure if they're actually meant for this one or they're meant for something else now um, ah yes the spawn system so we got our starting spawn right here but if we go to map we can actually see the entire kind of trench that I've built and we can also see the different areas so you've got an area right here where we've built this, I've built the spawn point right here, and then you can build one in this area. You see the dotted line. You got another one, another one, and then we've got the enemy spawn. And if there was an enemy here, it'd probably build a load of stuff here. Kind of feel a bit um, like a disadvantage here because they start on a hill, and it looks like it's kind of a D-Day assault trying to get up there, especially when you build the larger D-Day bunker like this. Now it cost, I think, 700 points, so that's um, quite a lot of trees, but still. And you can build up front, so I built a smaller defensive area around this, so trench uh, or sandbags, a bit of um, barbed wire, anti-tank hurdles. And let's go back. So what we want to do, I want to just show you these massive guns. So this, these ones come in three different shapes. It weak, decent, and heavy. Now the decent one and the heavy one costs 5,000 points. That is a lot of trees. Now that's more than I think I've spent on most of these things. So I weren't able to build the big ones, so I've only got the weak ones. And when I say they're weak, they really are super weak. So you can go ahead and swivel them around compared to the uh, anti-tank gun, so these ones actually work. They do swivel quite a bit though. So in case you someone turns up behind you, can swivel it completely around and shoot at them there. Now this one does shoot. Particle effect is not that great. And we can kinda see, maybe you can see the tracer of the the shot actually going out of it. And we've reloaded it. The thing about it being the weak cannon, though, we're going to shoot at the bunker here. Um, this is how weak it is. So all the shots I shot there, that's the same kind of crater that, say, the pistol or the rifle. So it, small arms fire being, being shot out of that cannon. Um... Right, let's drive some vehicles then. We'll start off with, with the funniest one, which is this Jeep. So you can go ahead and build stuff at these uh, garages. So we've got Tank Factory and we've got the Jeep Garage. 
You move in here, and then it costs 200 points to <laughs> ya boy Brum to uh, build that. So let's go ahead and jump in. Now this one you can actually kind of see where you're going with uh, the tank. That's a whole other issue. So I guess this one can uh, take multiple people in it. I hope so. Unless everyone else... Ooh, it's pretty hard to steer and... Ooh! We went over the trench line. Okay, I'm not gonna get up, getting up there. We're gonna turn around. Once at high speed, it's really hard to turn. But a uh, pretty interesting <laughs> transport car. Let's go ahead and park it the best we can. There we go. Now we got this KV tank as well. Now there's two different ones. There's a light tank and a heavy tank. And I decided to get the heavy one. Unfortunately, as we can see, or we can't see in fact, uh, we cannot see where we're going when we drive this. And also, it fires very rapidly. So I guess it's a good thing that we can't see where we're going or where we're shooting, because otherwise, this one seems rather OP. Right, so let's uh, ditch that tank. Let's get back in the car, because we're going to drive down to the airfield. Vroom vroom, gentlemen. And we're going to take an aerial look at the trench lines. Ooh, let's go ahead and not crash this. Right, and out. Oh, maybe before we do that, I'll go th over some of the weapons. Now you can make your weapons and you make ammo for them. So this one is the one you always start with, or you start with a, the rifle. I think you start with this one for all the factions, within quotation marks. Um, you can make the car 98 and the Mosin as well. Now you can make a pistol. You can make the PPSH. So, not really World War One. You can make the trench shotgun. Uh, M1 Grand. Let's just get that thing. Nice. And, let's see. I believe I removed one of the more derpier weapons. I had a mine... Yes, the mine deploy. Now, I don't think I have any mines. Yes, I do actually have mines. So let's go ahead and deploy a few mines. So the mine deployer is a bit of a derpy weapon. Let's see. Where did I put it? No, I put ammo. That's... No. Mine deployer. Can I... Mine deployer. We'll put them over there. Nope, get that sorted there. And so the mine deployer looks like this. Pretty odd. But then again, it is work in progress. So I've loaded the mine. Let's go ahead and release it. Plonk. There we go. How about another one? And I believe I had three. And there we go. Now we've placed some mines. Let's see if we can't detonate them. Boom! Now, particle effect, same as the cannon. Not really there yet. Let's go ahead and self build ourselves an aircraft. So, basic plane is the only plane available right now. It costs a thousand points. So, that's uh, at least four trees. Takes uh, quite some time. Uh, I've cut down a load of trees, so that's why the area is so open. And deploy the plane. Not a very nice looking plane, but it is a plane. I'll, uh, we are going to fly it. Right, so let's get in. And start her up. And off we go. Oh. Oh, last time it went so much better. God damn it. Right. I think I may, I think I did it wrong this time around. Um, do I have enough points? No, we don't have enough points for another plane. Let's go ahead and go to the other side and capture the enemy flag, shall we? And we can pass by the uh, 
the second trench line. Now, it's a, I think it's a pretty cool concept being able to build your trenches and stuff, but as we can see, it's still work in progress as part of the game's title. But I would really like to actually get a few people on this to see if, how it works when you're actually fighting other people. Uh, not just sitting around trying to build uh, your stuff on your own. Ooh! Oh! Look at that! Now he saw me! I am actually sitting underneath the car. Let's go ahead and cap this. And uh, win this match, maybe. Okay, that's... Okay, I don't know how to win. But there we go. Uh, trench. Work in progress. Interesting. Maybe I'll be able to post another video where we actually do some fighting. We'll see about that. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.